I guess I gotta do it on myself It's not a problem though Probably better off without you though What's good YouTube? It's your boy D Hyde I just want to welcome everybody back to the channel man um, Checking it out We are on week 8 y'all Week 8 I can't believe 8 weeks is already here The time is just freaking flying by man But uh This is how the beard looks man This week Um I decided to go ahead and just shave down a little bit right here up under the neck and also a little bit up here. All this right here is the regrowth from two for two weeks. All right. All that right there. I had to fix it up a little bit and I let the head, I let the hair grow out for like a week and a half. I didn't shave it until uh, Wednesday or probably Tuesday. But man, my shit was looking crazy. I mean, the freaking um, cover sack back here was on fleek boy that shit was like man i never went that long without shaving my head in a long time and i just realized how freaking bald i really am but um i had to shave it up you know i, mean, I had to clean it up a little bit you know taking my son to school i didn't want to look like no like no wild animal man so uh you know scaring people and shit so i had to clean it up a little bit but doing that and then watching this uh regrowth grow in i decided to go ahead and uh and plus a couple of comments a couple of you guys was recommending me uh, bringing the beard up a little higher and it's something that I've been wanting to do But um, I've always rocked the beard like this I mean, this is wider than I had it before like in my old videos my previous videos the beard was a little a little uh, smaller But then um, when I cut it down and, and started to regrow it then um, I made it a little wider So what I'm gonna do now since I've already had like this two weeks of regrowth I'm just gonna basically just keep it up here. You know, what I mean keep it up high and um, see where I can go with it, you know what I mean? See if I can get it uh, nice and really full, you know, nice and wide, you know what I mean? And um, just get it as thick as I possibly can just to see how that looks, you know, on my face. I've never really done that before. Like I said, I've always rocked it to where, you know, it came down a little bit. And um, <clears throat> that's how I've been rocking it. So uh, this is going to be interesting, man, to see how everything works out. Now, down here, I don't know what I'm thinking about doing, man, but... I don't know if I should just keep it the the way it is down here or what I might end up doing is just drawing like a making a new line a little back here and dropping it down a little back here just to see how it looks you know what I mean I don't want to really because I had this two weeks already growing in I don't really want to go to this old line you know what I mean because then I'm gonna have to wait for that whole process again to for it to grow out and then reestablish a new line so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop it down a little bit and um, keep it like that. Worst case scenario, if it doesn't look good, then I can always, you know, bring it up a little higher. So uh, that's the goal for today, you guys. All right, you guys. So this is how it came out, man. I didn't really bring it up too high, just because I just wanna, I just wanna get a, a good line right here. You know what I mean? And just shade this part off, and uh, this side right here. You know what I mean? So that's how it looks. And I'm gonna hit it with the clippers and. Um, See how this shit come out, man. You know what I mean? Alright, that looks... Looks pretty straight. I know this side is a little... This one is a little lower than this one. But... Yeah, that looks... Those two lines look about even, so... Alright, let's hit it up. All right, y'all, so you see how that came out? Just follow the line, just clean all that up, you know what I mean? And uh, let me do the other side real quick. Now, I don't know exactly how it's gonna look once I erase that line, but uh, we'll see. All right, y'all, so that's it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and erase this line, man, and see how it came out. All 
All right, y'all. So this is how it came out at the at the uh, the top on this side. You can see how I have my line established now, and I want all that to grow in, and it's gonna be a little a little wider. You know what I mean? And then on this side, same thing, but I don't have that much coverage right here. You know, so I'm gonna have to wait and see if this little section right here will grow in, which I'm hoping it does. But uh, you know, time will tell. If uh, if I have any gap issues like that up here on this side, so because I've never grown out my beard this wide, so I'm just interested to see if this part right here will fill in. But um, yeah, man, it came out pretty good, you know what I mean? Except for those little gaps. But uh, I'm gonna see if I can just tighten it up a little more and just keep it like that, you know what I mean? And then hit the bottom. So I think they came out pretty cool. Um, my initial reaction is I want to kind of like just straighten this up, you know what I mean? Like, but you have to be patient, all right? Just, just stay with that funky little gap for now and just kind of like, uh, you know, you have like a, a pretty much like a ghost line right here, you know? Let that part fill in, man. Don't mess with it too much and then try to match that little gap and then bring this part down. So what I'm going to do is... I could already tell I have a nice little a nice little uh line like this one going across here to where like they're both they both look pretty um even. So I'm not gonna mess with it no more and just let this part try to fill in. Alright? Because that's where I start to mess up at. Is that I keep trying to like make it look super perfect, but I have to be patient and um allow this here to kind of like grow in and fill in. That way you know, as it starts to fill in, like I always say, you know, what I mean, it it uh it uh, the line will get a lot better. See how this one looks pretty good, just because I have all this growth right here. I have all this here growing in right here. So of course, you know, it's going to have that sharp look, and it's gonna you're going to be able to see the the line really good. But over here, you can see it right here. The line looks good, and then it starts to like break up, and then you start to see the gaps. So just be patient. I'm gonna have to be patient. And not really mess with it because that's my problem man. I'm like my OCD kick in and I have to like fix those little freaking um, You know those little gaps and shit like that. So I'm not messing with it no more What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to hit the mustache clean this up and then uh, try to reestablish an, uh, Another line down here just to see how it looks I'm a little shaky right now. Just got through drinking a freaking venti boy She got my fucking hands all jittery I don't want to really uh, go too far and hit this line right here, so it's a little more difficult for me to to get that that line up there. You know what I mean? So I'm just being patient. I mean, just, so I'm just taking my time and making sure I don't uh, make any mistakes right here. It's crazy, man. Like one side is always better than the other side. I just I just don't understand it, dude. I really don't understand, man. That shit pisses me off sometimes, but it is what it is. I just have to be patient and let this shit grow in, so. All right, y'all, so for down here, like I said, I was thinking about widening it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna hit it wide. All right, so now I'm gonna hit this side. Like what I always do, bring it down to about right there. You know what I mean? All right, now I'm gonna hit the head. Clean everything up real quick. All right, y'all, so this is how it looks. Everything is nice and shaved. I only use the uh, the liners. I didn't use the, the razor or I didn't use the, cus the custom shave today. Um, this is just with 
the um, the liners. You know, everything back here. I'm trying to fix these um, these bumps back here, so I've only been using the liners, so I can um, you know fix these uh, these razor bumps that's been giving me so much trouble back there. Now it's getting better, man. It's it's really getting better using the bump stop every day. And then what I'm doing too is um, I'm putting this on. I'm putting the liquid on first, rubbing it on back there, even like up under my neck, and then I'll let that dry. I'll shave it down with the uh, with the liners, and once I'm done, I'll just rub alcohol all over it to kind of sterilize it and um, clean it, and then I'll put the bump stop on. And it's been working a lot, man. It's really been uh, you know the bumps has been going down. I mean, I can still feel them a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was um, after that first week of me using the razor. So. Uh, like I said in my last video, lesson learned, um, I'll never do that shit again. But um, other than that, man, this is how it looked. You know what I mean? This is how the, the line came out. You know what I mean? As you can see, it's going to be nice and, and full. The key to this, y'all, is to be patient. All right? Now, you have those little gaps. You have those little funky spots. You know what I mean? Just let your beard grow. You know what I mean? Let it grow out, and uh, eventually it's going to get better. It's going to fill in. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get dark. And you just have to be patient, you know what I mean? I know I'm going to have to be patient. Like I said, you know, my OCD be kicking in. I always like my beard super clean and sharp, man. But uh, it is what it is. You know, if I want that nice, wide, full look, I'm going to have to um, endure this for uh, for some weeks. So, uh, like I said, this is how it looks. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, use some of the Shave Secret. Wet up my face a little bit. And um, just hit this uh, this spot up here with this with the uh, throw ray razor. You just want to make sure you don't mess with that line. All right, keep that line exactly where it is. This is just to clean up that that little five o'clock shadow. See how smooth that is, and it's actually even better with the uh, it's actually even better with the shade secret. So what you want to use is, man, you just use regular rubbing alcohol, okay? I know there's, you know, a lot of people will say that alcohol is really bad for your skin and, um, you know, it's, it, uh, it dries your skin out and it dries your beard out. Listen, I'm not, ru I'm not rubbing this on my beard, okay? I'm just actually just rubbing it on the, uh, the spots that I shaved because, you know, every time you shave, you know, you shave with a razor, you shave with the liners. You have ingrown hairs, you pull those ingrown hairs out, you're shaving the, you know, you lining up yourself in the back. I mean, you're shaving your hair down in the back, you nick your neck right here. Those are all like little small little cuts, man, little wounds and stuff. So what the alcohol does is just like, you know, if you have a cut like on your hand or something, you know what I mean? The first thing you do is you put alcohol on it, all right? And uh, what it does is it clean and it sterilizes those, those little cuts. Of course, it's gonna burn like a mother in the beginning, but that's how you know it's working. It's cleaning up, it's cleaning up the area, make sure you don't get any type of uh, infections. A lot of times my face would be red and irritated from, um, from shaving. I put the alcohol on there, it burns like a son of a bitch. But after that, you know what I mean? All that redness goes away. And um, you know, my, my face, uh, these bumps, like these, uh, this is an ingrown here that I pulled out. It starts to go down and shrink up, you know what I mean? By tomorrow, it'll, it'll be in the healing process, you know what I mean? So that's why I've, I use alcohol. So I've been using it for a long time and um, it's, you know, it's never dried my skin out. It's never, you know, gave me bad skin or anything. For the most part, all these little blemishes and stuff like that are from me doing like a lot of grappling and stuff like that in jujitsu. And then, uh, you know, from the, uh, from the sun and me wearing my hat. So I never use any type of like um, aftershave or anything like that. Um, it's just been strictly alcohol, man. You know what I mean? And um, if you're worried about it, like, you know, pulling out the natural oils out of your skin, dude, look at my skin. My shit is already greasing up because I'm in this hot ass bathroom. Your, your face is going to naturally produce oil, you know, every day. You know what I mean? Even, even if I wipe my face down with alcohol right now, um, you know, within a couple hours, you know, I, my face will start to produce oil and um, naturally. You know what I mean? So I'm not really stripping my face of any type of like, um, nutrients and shit like that, you know what I mean? Um, but if you are worried about that, um, you can put, you know, some type of moisturizer on your skin right after. You know, like what I do, I, you know, I use the uh, the bump stopper and then um, I use my uh, my lotion, you know what I mean? It just kind of moisturizes my skin and, and I'm good, man, I'm off, you know? So that means, that's pretty much it for the alcohol thing, you know what I mean? Now let me hurry up and hit this and then I'll be completely done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the, the Speedmasters and I'm just gonna close it, all right? 
open, close it all the way out. Okay, I already got that line right there. So all I'm gonna do is just barely hit the top. Try to hit that, hit that area where the line was, where that line was, and not go down too far. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up just a little bit, okay? And then I'll come down just a little bit. Now what I usually do is I usually use like the zero, one, and two guards when I want to blend this all the way down. So what I would do is, um, like I said, I'll just go ahead and, uh, you know, use it without a guard, closed, do the top, bring it down a little lower, lower until I open it all the way up. You know what I mean? And then from there, I'll probably use like the two guard or the zero guard, depending on how high you want to start. Like I can use the, the zero guard and then just hit a little lower, you know what I mean? Hit it and put on the one guard, go a little lower and then put on the two guard and go a little lower, you know what I mean? And then from there, start to uh, start to blend it up, you know what I mean? You can start to close close it with the, with the number two guard on there all the way and then try to start to start your blend going back up this way, all right, until you Go from the two back to the one, back to the zero, and then back to uh, no guard. And then you can just uh, kind of like eyeball it and uh, blend it to the best of your ability. And that's what I usually do. So, let me finish this up. Another thing you can do too is just kind of flip it over. And then you can hold it flat. Because if you hold it too much at an angle like this, you're going to take a lot off. If you hold it flat, then you can kind of like gradually hear it coming off and you know how how much out of an angle you can you can go with it. Um, I'm not being too picky with it today. Like I said, I want all this to fill in. Hopefully that fill in. And um, just to get this part, you know, nice and thick. All right? So uh, at least I don't have that little straight line going across. So that's cool for today. All right? All right, y'all, so everything is complete. Um, head is shaved down, beard is lined up. Um, I'm kind of excited to see how this how this is gonna come out, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, I've always wanted to uh, experiment with this. That was the whole reason for me shaving down the beard and getting a little wider. So this is how it looked before, and then this is how, the, how wide the beard is gonna be eventually. I kind of brought this part down just a little bit over here. I noticed that um, it was a little uneven, so I tried to make it as even as possible. You know what I mean? Under here, but I did bring it down just a little bit. You know what I mean? It's not it's not directly to the line. This is all new growth right here, and then I have some new growth up under here that I kept. So I think this is a nice wide look, man. And um, like I said, I'm interested in seeing how this all comes out, and then um, how this gap fills in. But um, this is it, y'all. This is it for week eight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This is your boy D Hyde, and like always, you guys have a safe Great weekend, man, and I'll catch y'all next week. Peace out.